think that was a pretty good summary. I don't know whether I talked a whole lot. <laughs> I'm a little bit apologetic about the meeting today because it's going to, it has to be a short one because we're trying to make a lot of meetings. And I think there's a special event tomorrow. We want to make sure everybody knows about tomorrow and shows up at the caucuses because uh, we're hoping to send a very strong message tomorrow. And uh, that means that you need to show up and uh, get your vote in. But it is important uh, for us to send a message because I think our country has gone in the wrong direction. Not just this administration or the previous administration. Our country has slipped for a long time, quite a few decades. And if you want to really look back, when we slipped away from the Republican form of government, you could go all the way back to Woodrow Wilson. He, he came into office in 1913. It was an unlucky year for us because that's when they introduced the notion of the income tax. You know, I sort of like the old days when they, we believed our government should be so small. We didn't even need an income tax. I'd like to restore that to this side of our country once again. But we'll also in 1913, <laughs> also in 1913 we uh, ended up getting a central bank. A central bank is that thing that we have in Washington called a Federal Reserve. I believe that we really need to rein in the Federal Reserve. We need to audit the Federal Reserve, and we need to get nice. control of it. You talk about a big government doing the things that we're not supposed to be doing so often, and oftentimes the Congress and other branches of government, they're doing the things that they're not supposed to, and they forget about the responsibilities that they have. But none of this can be financed if we didn't have a Federal Reserve and we didn't print the money. Because there'd be a limitation on how much taxes you could uh, levy on the people. The people would get wise up to it. Uh, the borrowing, uh, the borrowing would end because the interest rates would go up. But then they, the last resort is printing the money. And now, especially for these last four years, there's been a lot of printing of money going, going on. And literally, the debt is exploding. It's, it's been going up steadily for many decades. But in the last four years, it's going up over a trillion dollars a year, sometimes at one and a half trillion dollars. We owe almost 16 trillion dollars. We owe foreigners three trillion dollars. And all our so-called prosperity today is based on debt. And that, that's how they're doing that. That's what the financial markets are telling us. And we have promised to bail out everybody and anybody, not only here at home and the banks and the corporations that tended to live off us to begin with, but also foreign banks. We're in Europe right now. Bernanke's over there promising that our dollars and the American people will take upon themselves to take care of the banks because they don't want the banks to go bankrupt. And guess where? why they're bankrupt? They bought debt because the Greeks and the Italians and the, and, and, uh, uh, the Spanish lived beyond their means. They sold the debt. And our banks were participating in those banks. And now they say, well, it will be too terrible if the system breaks down. And uh, therefore, we have to bail them out. Let me tell you, that is not true. It, it is true, though, that if they wouldn't have bailed out in, 19, in 2008, it would have been trouble. But the trouble would have been mostly on those individuals who had been living off the system instead of dumping all the debt on the American people and the American class people. That is what we have to stop, the bailing out of the privileged class. are multiple. We have foreign policy troubles, we have monetary problems, we have spending problems and debt problems. But we also have a serious problem of the overreach of our federal government into, the pers into our personal lives, our personal privacy. Now they want to attack and control the, the, the internet. Now they have passed laws where they can search our houses and our papers and all our records without search warrants. And also, they have, just re they have just passed a bill, and the president just signed it. He says he probably won't use it, but it's on the law and on the books right now. And that came out of the National Defense Authorization Act. Today, now, it is legal for a president to use the military for the first time in our history to arrest individuals, hold them without trial and without charges, and put into prison indefinitely because you're a suspicious character. That is very dangerous. That has to stop, and it has to be reversed.